Hello and welcome to the Gun Locker. Now in my hands I've got something rather special. This is the custom build that I was talking about in the early days when I first started the channel. Um, built for my daughter by Andy from AA Gun Locker in Stafford. It's based on a Crow MPO2 but it is so much more than that. What I'm going to do with this is a pellet test and I'm going to do an accuracy test. I just hope that I can shoot it as well and as accurately as this has been built. Um, Andy built this rifle for my daughter. It is a one-off. He said that he's never going to build one like this again purely because he's not a guy that works with stocks and this stock actually took a little bit of work but I'll explain that more in detail um, when we go inside. I hope you enjoy it, it's a special bit of kit and um, yeah it just goes to show what a wizard can do with a rifle. Okay guys, um, well, weather seems to be closing in on me so I'm going to have to be a little bit quick here and the wind has picked up. What I'm going to do is a pellet test. I'm going to single load this as opposed to using the magazine. I just want to make sure it has the, the best chance as it were. Um, start off with the Diablo fields. I'm just going to put like a five shot group in each of the targets there and we'll see how we go from there. So this is going to be bottom left hand target. And again, it's just a pellet test, remember. Hands are getting cold. Okay, so that was five. Three of them grouped, two a little bit wayward. Next up are the Golden Trophy field targets from Norma. And we're going to go bottom right hand target. That wind is really picking up now.
A little bit of a spread on those. Let's try the Remington Thunder Barracudas. Little target. Whoa, I pulled that one. I definitely pulled that one. I'm going to ignore that shot. Yeah. Tidy group that one. If it wasn't for me pulling that uh, third shot. So how would you or your family cope if you were to die, become terminally ill or diagnosed with a critical illness? By protecting you and your family when you need it most, our main focus and priority is you the customer when it comes to your insurance needs. Our team of protection advisors are extremely experienced, so don't hesitate to call now and arrange a no-obligation, confidential appointment. At Insurite, we put you first. Let's try the JSB Match Diablo next. We'll go top right hand target. I forgot to mention, by the way, these targets are set out at 30 metres. Nothing wrong with that group at all. That's uh, that's looking like a favourite at the moment. Um, let's go with the Diana High Powers next. I'm going for top left hand target. One more. 
lost count there, so I'm assuming it's five. <laughs> I've got to whip, whip, <coughs> get my teeth in. Got a little bit of a wobble on. I think what I'd like to do, I've got the busy long range golds, so there's an image of a five penny piece there. Um, let's put a few in that. Well, let's aim at a few and see, see what this does. From here, all I can see when I'm looking at that image is a grey ring. Um, I can't see where the pellets are. So if they're all in that image of the five penny piece, or I'm way off. One more. Wow, okay, so <laughs> I purposely aimed slightly to the left of that five penny piece to make sure that it was shooting where I thought it was because I simply couldn't see it on the scope. And um, yeah, it's pretty darn good, it really is. So. I'm not sure which to go for. I think I might go with the JSB Match Diablos. Okay. Ugh. Now what I'm going to do with this, on the same piece of paper, I'm just going to put a pellet out of the target so I can see exactly where it lands and then I'm going to put another shot aiming at it so I know what the scope is doing so this is going to be left hand piece of paper ok and now I'm going to aim at that same pellet hole and that should tell me how the scope is performing Right, time for the accuracy test. So how would you or your family cope if you were to die, become terminally ill or diagnosed with a critical illness? By protecting you and your family when you need it most, our main focus and priority is you the customer when it comes to your insurance needs. Our team of protection advisors are extremely experienced so don't hesitate to call now and arrange a no obligation confidential appointment. At Insurite, we put you first. Bottom left hand target. Really getting cold now.
bottom right hand target top right hand target Hold it. Top left hand target. Now for the group. Last one. Jet speed match the Ablo exact. And that's the NPO2 custom built with the 942cc air capacity. Stunning, stunning bit of kit. Right guys, I'll catch you inside. So that was me shooting this custom built Crowl NPO2 920cc 0.177 sub 12 foot pound air rifle. Bit of a mouthful I know, but it kind of deserves it. This is an incredible bit of kit. Made by Andy from um, AA Gunlocker in Stafford. He very kindly built it for my daughter. She's had a hell of a last couple of years really. Um, and unfortunately, uh, six, seven weeks ago now, she suffered a stroke and she's only 18. Um, so yeah, bless her, she's having a really, really tough time. But the run up to that um, she's always had a, a, a massive interest in shooting she absolutely loves it um, Andy knows that and you know out of the kindness of his heart he said that he wanted to make a summit and he built her this it is a one-off um, he's not gonna make another one of the reasons for that is that he by his own admittance he doesn't like working on stocks and this needed quite a bit of work um, when he put it all together it was there or thereabouts and I, I must admit I've actually fettled with the stock myself um, in order to get that fit a little bit better a little bit tighter more in line because I'm, I'm a bit of a perfectionist um, and I've also refinished it so the stock where it was just an oiled walnut stock um, it's now been kind of French polished 
as well as being lacquered on top so yeah it has a bit more of a deeper uh, and, and a nicer luster to it as well so what can I tell you about this rifle well it's a side lever you can see it here um, left side cocking so for me it's a little bit awkward because I'm used to the right side cocking but for my daughter she's left handed and that's perfect for her although saying that with the stroke she's actually paralysed in the left side at the moment so we're hoping that's going to come back um, yeah, yeah we, we really are but saying that you know this was built for her prior to all of that happening and um, it works perfectly well for her the like I say it's a point one seven seven it's unique so um, Andy said he's not gonna build any more like this he has done other custom build rifles and you'll see that they've got cylinders but not bottles on them um, and they've got slightly longer barrels but this is a really compact unit you saw me shooting out at 30 meters the temperature has dropped quite a bit these last few days um, no end of rain you could see like the, the grass is absolutely like gnarled up with me walking on it it's just like a quagmire out there at the moment and we did have some very strong winds cutting in from right to left so I certainly put it through its paces um, target set at 30 meters and you can see there the accuracy it's in these conditions it's performed very very well and it's not my rifle don't forget um, it's been set up for my daughter so she's asked me not to tamper with it and I haven't done I've not even messed about with the scope I've not messed about with any of the settings um, that's all for her to do when she's feeling you know fitter when she's back into shooting um, look all of that aside Let's go through and let's talk about tech specs. So how would you or your family cope if you were to die, become terminally ill or diagnosed with a critical illness? By protecting you and your family when you need it most, our main focus and priority is you the customer when it comes to your insurance needs. Our team of protection advisors are extremely experienced so don't hesitate to call now and arrange a no obligation confidential appointment. At Insurite, we put you first. So the rifle itself is 890 millimeters from butt to muzzle end, or should I say moderator end, um, or 35.04 inches. Center of balance is 470 mil from the butt, so it's roughly where my hand is absolutely perfect. Um, 18.5 inches, old school. The reach from the butt to the trigger is 392 millimeters or 15.43 inches and its weight as a package so we've got the scope included we've got the um, bipod and bottle clamp as well within this comes in at 4.66 kilos or 10.27 pounds that might seem heavy but because of its compact style it's certainly pointable it does not feel weighty and when you're using it on the bench it's so stable it's unbelievable it's just really nice really really nice um, the stock well the stock is made by Crow. it is walnut but as an MPO2 it's quite a bit longer than this what we've had to do, well I say what we've had to do, what Andy's had to do is cut the stock down and reshape it internally to be able to fit this custom build. Um, and like I said, I've done a little bit more modernizing, or not modernizing, um, fitting to the inside of the stock just to make a little bit more room and so it sits better um, against the chassis. And of course it's been refinished as I've, as I've mentioned earlier. Um, if we look at the butt, well, that consists basically of a bottle shroud and an adjustable butt pad. And that butt pad can go up and down. You can see it's been set here. Again, that's been set for my daughter. There's no other form of adjustment on this. So the, you know, the cheek piece doesn't go up or down or in and out. 
Although saying that, with the swell of this bottle, it actually fits quite nicely. I didn't think I'd like it at first, but it works well. And this kind of plastic cover warms up to your face, so it doesn't feel cold when you're resting your cheek against it. Um, the, the, I say the butt. So the butt and the stock are both ambidextrous. Um, you know, as a right-handed shooter, fits nicely. The stock itself, pistol grip, um, wrap around. You can shoot thumbs up if you'd like, but for me, there's a little bit of a, um, a corner here, an edge which is uncomfortable on the side of the thumb, so I rather wrap my hand around it. And whether you're left-handed or right-handed, you know, it, it's the same. It just feels nice and comfortable. Nice palm swell, but not too bulbous. I've recently shot um, an R12 from BSA, and I've got to say, you're not going to see that review because uh, to be fair I'm just not happy with that company at the moment um, but what I found with that stock and it's a Manelli stock is that the pistol grip is just too bulbous it, it feels like you're holding a brick in your hand what they've done with that I have no idea but shape it a little bit more you know this from Crowl is much much nicer um, you can see the safeties here on the right hand side it's a very simple lever pull it back for safe pull it uh, push it forward for fire it's only on the right hand side so um for a left-handed shooter i guess once you put it into fire you're going to keep it there but you're going to have to engage it and disengage it with your right hand let me put that back is that going to go there oops yeah, that's going to go there. Actually, <laughs> let me put it here. I can't even remember how I had this now. There you go. That's better. Um, what's going off here? Ah, I know what I've done. I put it wrong around. There you go. A little bit of a brain fart. It's getting late in the day. <laughs> um, what else can I say? So, with regards to the chassis, Aluminium body, coloured black, decent finish. The barrel, it's um, shrouded and it's got a carbon wrap to it. And there's a custom made mod on the end of this as well. I don't know what else to say, it's just, it's really nicely done. Andy's done a fantastic job of this. It's, it's just brilliant in my mind. The trigger, it's three-way adjustable, first stage, second stage, and pull. Um, again, because it's set up for my daughter, she loves it. For me, I would alter it slightly, make it just a touch lighter, but she likes it, you know, and it's her gun, so I'm not allowed to do anything to it. Um, obviously, you can see the trigger guard is part of the actual... Uh, stock um, it's nicely shaped I mean bless them Crowl at the end of the day they are mass producing these stocks and their finish could be better if you get one of their rifles it's just an oiled finish and many many times you'll see that stock and it just looks dry so it can do with a, a bit of a walnut oil a bit of finish a bit of tender loving care really um, I've already mentioned about the safety, you know where that is. And with regards to loading the rifle, well, this accepts 14 shot magazines, crown magazines. Um, if you've seen my previous posts, you'll know that these are commonplace. All you do to, to load these is basically rotate the cover clockwise until it comes to stop, drop your first pellet in, and then as you return that cover back to its original position, you're just dropping pellets into the uh, mag there. For the test, I um, I don't have a single shot tray for this, um, but I was just feeding the pellets easily into the breech. And I did that because I didn't want there to be any misalignment. 
these magazines are all right, but they're not a favorite of mine. I think with regards to magazines, the best out there at the moment are those used by Virac on the HW100. Um, it's just a very simple barrel design, no moving pieces. You can't go wrong with something like that. You really can't. Uh, not sure if I mentioned it, but capacity 14 shot. If you were to go for a 2.2, that reduces down to 12. Um, 0.25 goes down to 10, I believe. But like I say, this is a unique gun. It is what it is, so you're not going to get this in a 0.22 or a 0.25 or any other caliber because it's one of a kind. The scope rail on top it's a hybrid so it's got both Picatinny and Dovetail. Um, the Dovetail slot is coming in at 11 millimeters wide. It's 145 mil long so 5.71 inches and the offset so that's from the top of the rail to the top of the barrel is 6.98 millimeters or 0.27 of an inch. Going back to this barrel it's made by Crowl it's button rifled, it's 330 millimeters or 12.99 inches in length and it has a barrel wall thickness of 4.18 millimeters or 0.16 of an inch. Already mentioned that it's shrouded. The shroud itself is 263 mil long or 10.35 uh, inches. Its diameter is 28.1 millimeters or 1.11 inches and with regards to the moderator this wonderful bit of kit here on the end is 137 mil long or 5.39 inches it's 30.63 uh, millimeters in diameter 1.21 inches and it is actually designed and built um, by Andy at AA Gunlocker bless him nice bit of brass on the end there as well I like that. Also finished nicely um, at the meeting point with the half inch UNF that's on the barrel. Now air supply. I actually made a mistake when I introduced this rifle. I said it had 942cc. That's just a brain fart on my behalf. It has a 500cc bottle on the front and a 420 cc bottle on the back so it's 920 cc air capacity um, it's filled via a <laughs> right we call this a foster fill connector at the bottom but it's not a foster fitting it's almost like an OG fitting and it's it's specific to Crow rifles so you're gonna need a slightly different coupler for this but if you were to buy a Crow rifle, it, it obviously it comes with the rifle itself. Max fill pressure, 200 bar or 2,900 PSI. And with regards to the manometer, it's fitted to the side here. Now, I'll give facts and figures a little bit later on, but with all of this air, I really don't know what the shot count is. I will tell you it's more than 350 shots per fill. That's it. <laughs> I've not taken it from 200 bar down to 100 bar yet um, because to be fair, I'm, I'm not just gonna do that to waste pellets. You've seen it. Um, yeah, it's, it's <laughs> there's plenty of air there. Um, what else can I say? It does have an adjustable, um, hammer spring and it has an adjustable transfer port which is here the hammer spring you need to get into the chassis to be able to do that or take the fore end off to be able to do it uh, it's it's tuned up so unlike other rifles with uh, transfer port adjusters where once you move it from full to halfway down it only drops by one foot pound and then all the way down to the bottom it seems to drop by half this is much smoother so there is an even distribution of power when you move that knob from full 
from max all the way down to minimum. Um, yeah, it's Andy's done a brilliant, brilliant job with this. He really has. Um, so guys, that's the tech specs over and done with. What I'd like to do now is start to rate the rifle. So how would you or your family cope if you were to die, become terminally ill or diagnosed with a critical illness? By protecting you and your family when you need it most, our main focus and priority is you the customer when it comes to your insurance needs. Our team of protection advisors are extremely experienced so don't hesitate to call now and arrange a no obligation confidential appointment. At Insurite, we put you first. Now if you've seen my previous reviews, you'll know that with each and every one of them, I like to rate rifles. Give them a, a, a star rating. Comes in two parts, accuracy and performance is the first part, design and build is the second part, and within each of those parts there are several topics. So let's start off with this and let's start off with accuracy. Now, you saw me shooting, the footage is out there, um, really, you could you could use any pellet that you wanted uh, for this one, but it particularly liked the JSB and also the Bisley LRGs. Um, these others, there were some wayward shots there, but to be fair, those groups are pretty tight. They are all kill shots, no two ways about it. But the JSBs were stunning. I mean. <sighs> That group there, that's got to be less than five mil from uh, point of impact. It's absolutely tiny. Really, really is. It's incredible. Um, on the actual test, so the furthest from the ball was 11, sorry, I got that upside down, was that shot there which was 11.22 millimeters out from the center of that cross nearest to the ball was this shot here which was 5.33 millimeters bear in mind guys this is 30 meters out and you saw the conditions it's blowing a gust and this is a 0.177 not a 2.2 so the pellets are going to be blown about this is stunning um, and with regards to that group there, it comes in at 8.62 mil. Phenomenal, phenomenal bit of kit. The, the, the rifle's a laser, it absolutely is. In that, I mean, it was dropping cold and it was windy. You could hear it, you could see it. No two ways about it. So, anyway, I rated the rifle 4.8 out of 5 stars for accuracy. Well done, Andy. <laughs> Um, with regards to handling, so it's a bit of a funny one this, because of the weight and because of the way that I grade rifles, it actually it doesn't fare too well, but we've got all of this attached to it, so you've got to bear that in mind. I've given it 3.8 out of 5 stars. Um, I think I'm harsh on that to be honest, I think it should be 4 to 4.5. The calculations that I've got basically go up in increments. So the heavier the rifle suits bench rest work, but it goes against field work because you're carrying it around all the time. So for bench rest, this is really, really accurate. It scores five out of five stars because of its stability. Um, and remember, I'm just resting off of a bipod. So I've got movement in my body, I've got movement in my shoulder. This isn't fixed in a frame in any way uh, but because of its weight you know it's scoring two out of five stars for field work because if you're carrying it around I think in this instance my calculations maybe or my my uh, formula that I use for scoring it is probably a little bit off because what I haven't allowed for is the compact size of it which means that that weight is all quite close to your body and the balance is superb. It really is, it's brilliant. 3.8 out of 5 stars, probably a little bit harsh, but hey, 
I can't score this four and a half, five stars for everything because Andy's head will just go, you know. <laughs> um, loading, 14 shot mag, index as well, loads well, shoots well, it's going to get four out of five stars. The trigger, again, I mean it's it's been set up for my daughter and she absolutely loves it. I am going to give it five out of five stars because it's just it's just very very nice. No two ways about it. Um, yeah, I can't knock the score because my daughter will kill me if I do. As <laughs> simple as that. No, it, it, in truth, it's it really is a nice nice trigger unit. Um, power. 11.92 foot pound. That's what it's kicking out using 8.44 grain JSB Match Diablo exacts. Um, yeah, it's it really is finely tuned. Got to obviously be careful when we're shooting at that limit, so you don't go for any heavier pellets because then that's going to put it over the 12 foot pound mark. So you've got to know what you're doing and you've got to use the right pellet for it and all my pellets here are, are you know fairly light um, but shooting the JSBs 11.92 foot pound yeah uh, you might be interested to know that there was a four foot pound spread on the crony test which for an unregulated rifle is stunning you know, it's absolutely stunning, but that's why it's so accurate. Um, shot count per fill, it's going to get five out of five stars. I mean, <laughs> what, what can I say? There's not many rifles out there that will give you 350 shots plus per fill. That's what it does. <laughs> Only thing that I will say is that um, when you've got so much air in the gun, you're going to need a few diver's bottles because it can use them up. <laughs> it really can. Every time you fill it from 100 to 200, you kind of think, oh, there's 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 a lot of my air that's gone. <laughs> but it's got a five out of five stars. Can't give it any less, really. Now, noise levels. One of the lowest scores here with the moderator is kicking out 82 decibels. Now, that may sound like a high figure, but it really isn't. Um, you probably heard me shooting on the footage, the noise that you could hear, the majority of that noise was coming from the impact, not from the rifle. That's how quiet this is. 82 decibels gives it three and a half out of five stars. Um, the reason why I'm scoring it like this is because I've seen and heard some of uh, Andy's latest additions what he's working on and they are quieter, they're getting in sub 80. So this one has to be, obviously it's, it's, it's not as effective as those, but still, you know, it, it quiets down the sound quite a bit. Three and a half out of five. And then value for money, well, hey guys, you know, I'm, I'm going to be a little bit harsh here. I'm giving it 4.8 out of 5 stars. <laughs> um, just purely because I can't be giving Andy 5 out of 5 all the time. I just can't. Um, in my heart, for what he's done for my daughter, it's 10 out of 5 stars. It's 100 out of 5 stars. 1,000 out of 5 stars. Guy, this... Yeah, and this is specifically to Andy. Andy, thank you very much. I I haven't come across a gent like yourself in a long time. I certainly haven't met an individual that will just, for no reason, do something for somebody else, you know, um, other than just being a nice guy. So from the bottom of my heart, thank you. Thank you very much for what you've done for my daughter. Thank you. Um, right, so, an overall score for accuracy and performance of 4.5 out of 5 stars. Let's talk about design and build. So, again, um, 
It's not going to score so well here because we're using a platform that's been originally created by Crow. And what I mean by that is that there are some limitations with regards to the ergonomics. But we'll come to that in a minute. For aesthetics, I'm giving it four out of five, sorry, four and a half out of five stars. I like the look of this and everybody that's seen it likes the look of this. It's just nicely balanced. It's got that, I really want to shoot it feel. So it can have no less than four and a half out of five stars. With regards to ergonomics, um, doesn't score so well, 3.3 .3 out of five stars. And that's purely because you, love, you know, you are stuck with what you've got, so there's not that much adjustability in the butt. It does go up and down, it doesn't go in and out. Um, there's no adjustability for the cheek piece or the comb, so that doesn't go up and down, in and out. Not a lot you can do to the fore end, um, because to be fair, that's so skeletal, there's, there's nowhere where you can actually attach anything to it. And we've had to fit a bottle clamp in order to be able to put a bipod on it. Although with this setup, it is extremely stable. Uh, yeah, what can I say? 3.3 .3 out of five stars. If it's, gonna, if it's gonna drop any points, it's gonna drop points here. With regards to the build quality, well, again, um, I could give it five out of five across the board, but because I've had to do a little bit of work to the stock, <laughs> I'm giving it four. 4.5 out of 5 stars. Yeah, sorry Andy. <laughs> Could have done better there, mate. <laughs> um, with regards to the safety design, again, we're limited. It's, it is, uh, get this around, it's got stuck in my jumper. It is here. It is a manual, it's not an automatic, so it's always gonna drop some points for that. It's in a good place. Only thing is it's not ambidextrous, so it's not on the same side. I'm giving it four out of five stars for, um, for safety design. So there you have it guys, um, overall score for design and build and for uh, accuracy and performance is 4.3 out of five stars. What this means with regards to the leaderboard is that we have a new joint leader. Have a look on the right hand side. Stunning, stunning bit of kit. 4.3 out of 5 stars. Andy, you're a wizard. Thank you very much. Guys, that's it for this review. Um, I'm glad that I finally managed to get this one out. There'll be another one coming shortly. That review is actually going to be a re-review. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put the HW77K through its paces again, but this time I'm going to rate it the same as I am rating all the other rifles because with time I've you know I've amended the scoring system, I've added topics, I've added all sorts of stuff in order to be able to rate the rifles and it all started with the HW77K it may well be that it finishes with the H77K or HW77K, I don't know yet. Um, but I think it's only fair that that rifle should be re-rated and that's what I'm gonna do. For now guys, take care. If you're out there in this weather, honestly wrap up warm, keep yourselves dry. When you're walking around with guns, make sure you don't slip because that's how accidents can happen. Just be safe, stay safe, Till next time, bye-bye.